This beautiful waterfront is bursting with excitement. You know, Mind Spark, just a couple of blocks away, has has uh, opened up. Uh, Maya Lin has purchased the Old City Jail. Uh, there's new restaurants and great uh, development going on here along the Yonkers waterfront. Yet, it's also home to the county wastewater treatment plant located here along the south end of Ludlow uh, in the southernmost part of the city's border. Residents have been impacted and have had the negative effects of this facility, including the odor that comes from, emanates from this facility for years, as long as I can remember. Uh, you know, Northridge Bureau's here. I remember 30 years ago, we would, 40 years. or 40 years ago, <laughs> but I'm, I'm not that old. But no, I'm just kidding. But but we've been talking about this for uh, well over 30 years, maybe even 40 years. Uh, the remediation uh, it seems never to be complete. Uh, phase one, phase two, phase three, uh, phase one all might almost be done. Uh, yet the county is planning. In spite of the fact that the, the, uh, these phases have not been completed, the county is planning to divert more waste to our city without fixing the problems. The proposal is not new. Uh, it's the same proposal that was uh, put forth 10 years ago. And uh, Yonkers told them, told them to flush it 10 years ago, and we're telling them to flush it again today. This plan opens the floodgates for additional areas of Westchester County to dump in Yonkers. And our message is, to is the same today as it was then. Uh, don't dump on Yonkers. Our residents have been living here in this neighborhood uh, for long before uh, there was a sewage plant. And they don't deserve lesser quality of life because of Westchester's waste. The plant occupies a sizable area of very valuable waterfront. That Portions of it may not ever be used because of this facility. The county should review how it looks at what they call LULUs, local undesirable land uses, and look to see how other communities have handled these LULUs and how they can best put forth remediations and projects. Projects like when you look just to the just to the north of this facility, uh, there's a couple of acre parcel of property, the old ATI tank yard. Uh, that is now occupied by buses. Beautiful, pristine waterfront that is occupied by buses. And you know what will be there next year? Buses. You know why there'll be buses there that next year? Because this is here. So Westchester County needs to uh, put up and become a partner with Yonkers and maybe come and take over this site and put a park here and allow for there to be a park, something to help offset the undesirable land use with a very desirable land use. And that's what they've been doing in neighborhoods and in, in communities all across this country. You just have to look at what they've done just in Manhattan along the corridor where there is a wastewater treatment plant. There's a park on top of that. Now, we're not looking for them to put a park on top of, of this plant. But we are looking for Westchester County to ha have some recognition for Yonkers and maybe to even put a park here just north and an area that, like I said, probably will never be developed because of the fact that we have this. So uh, again, uh, the county needs to complete uh, their, re their remediation efforts uh, before any additional uh, sludge is allowed to come to this facility. And, uh, and we're open for discussions, and, uh, but first, is first things first, fix the problem. And that's what we're here to talk about today. Uh, I'm also, I have come of the re some of the residents that have been here. I'm going to ask uh, Northrude Spiro, who has actually been fighting uh, this plant and fighting for some type of remediation for as long as I can remember. Uh, Northrude says 40 years, but I'm going to ask Northrude to come up here and say a few words. Northrude Spiro from Ludlow Park. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And thank you for uh, creating attention to this ongoing problem. Um, approximately five to eight years ago, uh, New York City alloc uh, allocated uh, some funds called the East of Hudson funds to, for these communities uh, that Mr. Kaplowitz and the, uh, the uh, Westchester County uh, Executive are now looking to divert to down here, this 
sewage of which they're looking to divert down here. Um, these funds were allocated so that these communities were able to remediate their, their own locations. Instead, uh, especially one of them, has continued building and expanding its facility with total disregard to what they are doing in their environment. And that means you know, sewage into the various, um, diverting sewage into the, into the drinking water of the, um, the reservoirs. And that certainly cannot be continued and allowed. And, uh, but the problem is that for whatever reason, these neighborhoods have chosen not to act on remediation and uh, taking a political course and putting pressure on their representatives to divert. Mind, mind you, this is not as an as of right diversion. They are not part of the uh, uh, what's known as the Bronx River Sewer District. Um, they, a technology exists all over the world, including third world countries, where they, where one can. Um, remediate wastewater into drinking water and I'm not suggesting that that's what they ought to be doing but they certainly are able to use technology and the funds that are allocated the East of Hudson funds to remediate their own backyards we need our so wastewater treatment plants for Yonkers own development along the waterfront and, and everywhere else and we have a right to do that um, I think it's time, oh, the one other thing, the previous administration also allocated funds to do a study for a new water, wastewater plant to be, al to be located in northern Westchester. Matter of fact, it is, they, they've identified it as a site that is a Westchester County site. The current administration, Westchester County administration, um, chose to withdraw those study funds under the guise of uh, a balanced budget. So please, uh, we would like to see those funds reinstated. We would like to see a, another wastewater treatment plant to be built in northern Westchester to accommodate growth there if for any municipality that wants it. And just leave us alone. Leave, it's time to just Stop diverting to Yonkers. Thank you. Could, could you just say and spell your name? Do I have to spell? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, Seventy-three years later. Uh, <laughs> N o r t r u d s p e r o. Thank you. Norju, thank you so much. And uh, like I said, this goes back to when my dad was a county legislator here Absolutely. over 30 years ago he working with helpful. you. Very helpful. Very um, helpful. The uh, we also have two other residents I'd like to uh, to call up from Lello Park. Uh, John Pinnaker, who's a Lello resident. John. Thank you. Uh, though I am not as long lived in uh, Ludlow as uh, Norju is, or perhaps Renee. Um, I have experienced the situation of being here and the odors that we talked about. It wasn't too many years ago that there was a meeting in the, uh, the library over here about a municipality north of uh, Yonkers that wanted permission to dump into the Yonkers plant. And it, I was a little surprised at the time to find out that there were actually several facilities in Westchester County, though 95% or more of all effluence winds up here in Ludlow. Uh, we think that it's extremely reasonable to expect that these other facilities could either uh, be looked at as far as uh, increasing their size and their capacity or, as Nortrud said, um, another site located where they can build water treatment plants so that all of the effluence doesn't wind up here because <laughs> we are the ones that, uh, that pay the consequences in either the odors that it emits the, the fact that uh, this particular area right on the waterfront doesn't get touched for development because it's not very attractive to do so and the odors that it produces. Um, we think that uh, we're 100% behind the mayor in trying to get the county to step up to the plate and do what they should and allow other areas to, to be able to um, 
you know, to, to, to either build additional facilities or build additional capacity in their existing facilities to take care of the water so that Yonkers doesn't get dumped on at the end. Thank you. Thank you, John. Uh, also, um, I'd like to ask uh, Renee Kevlin to uh, say a few words. Renee, from Brother Park. Yes, hi. Um, there's nothing new to add from me, really, except that my feeling is over the years that this isn't a very future-looking kind of move. It seems like expansion is what they're planning to do in some respect. Maybe I'm paranoid, I don't know, but it, when there is a limit set and then there are ways to change figures, um, it just seems like we, we are not being treated fairly because the future involves more development in Westchester. Uh, Councilman Mike Sabatino. Yeah, I, I think everybody's made it pretty clear that, um, I think everybody's made it pretty clear. There's still some remediation that needs to be done. There's a couple of phases that need to be done. And we need uh, another plan somewhere up county. Uh, Yonkers can't be the repository for all of the sewage uh, from the county. It's just not fair to the city. And the comments on the odors, um, I, I received a report that the odor uh, complaints have gone down. But as we just discussed with the mayor, it, the problem is that I think people are just getting tired of complaining. They just don't complain as much. Uh, I mean, this is part of my district. And um, when I campaigned here in the summer, boy, there were some days that I, I would say, oh, uh, you know, not living right in this immediate area. Uh, there is still odor problems and it has to be rectified and we have to finish whatever else uh, it needs to be done in the phases. We can't move forward with this. And this plan is really this, it's not a new plan, it's the same plan that was uh, implemented ten, 10 years ago. So we're counting on the county and counting on our county legislators to do the right thing for Yonkers. Thank you. Grace, any questions? Is there a pressing issue of why right now you're bringing this out again? Well, because you know, I'm sure you've read some of the news reports that the, uh, the intent is the county to, to start doing some diversion uh, to this facility. Uh, so this is our opportunity to say, no, there's no diversion. There should be no diversion until we have had a discussion about remediation. There should be no diversion until at least what was promised to the people of Ludlow Park and the people of this great city, until those uh, phases of one, two, and whatever, I think three, are done. Uh, there should be no diversions until uh, the the idea of this of this Lulu, the local undesirable land use, is is addressed. And why is it that Westchester County can't do what other municipalities have done all across this country and offer something of substance to the people that live in this community? Because we cannot develop this portion, this small stretch of land. Uh, which is viable and which is beautiful, which is very much a part of the people that live here, but we can't. Why? Because we have a wastewater treatment treatment plant that is uh, still smells, that is still uh, not completed, and we have to make sure that, that we hold Westchester's feet to the fire. And that's why we're asking the board of legislators, do not move with any plans for any diversion until the promises that have been made have been, have been met. Thank you.